back to the meetings. I am Rob Chapman. <laughs> We've somehow got into a time machine and gone back to 1980, and I love it. It's the best kind of time machine to be in. I'd it rather is. be in a hot tub time machine, though. Well, absolutely. It's the um, best. Kramer. Versus Kramer. Kramer versus Kramer. I love Boston. Mm? Uh, <laughs> I'm keeping the kids. Or, I can't even remember. Right, basically, absolutely <laughs> I nothing. I want a boy. I want a boy. Is that right? I'm, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you. Uh, no mm. one knows this film, Lee. You're totally right. Even we, in fact, I vaguely remember Kramer versus Kramer as a film that I think I remember my parents watching and I saw them cry. Probably shortly before they got divorced too. I just can't get over how much... <laughs> <laughs> can't get over how much Dustin Hoffman looks like... Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Crazy, isn't, isn't it? Like... I was watching The Mummy last night in bed Where with, my, with my kebab. Like, <laughs> oh, God. And uh, really quite enjoying it. And then, and then so I got Tom Cruise's face firmly in my mind and then seeing Dustin Hoffman looking just what like to Br- Is it Brendan Foster? Is, he in the, is it Brendan Foster in The Mummy? Where's he been uh, for that, like the That's last... The Mummy Oh, you're talking one, about a new Mummy. And then The Mummy 2, they upgraded it to The Cruise. The Mummy ILF? Or is that a different one? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. But uh, you've got okay. to buy, buy 10 Kramer. bucks. Kramer, Kramer, Kramer. Let's go back to the 70s when, uh, according to Wikipedia, there were four original founders well, I was of Kramer. Born. Yeah, uh, Gary Kramer being um, being the one whose surname got put on the guitars in New Jersey. Great, cool place, hotbed of cool music at that time. Um, and if you notice that everything is new in America, New Orleans, New Jersey, New York, New York everything, nothing's old. No, that's true. Well, or, because or, it isn't. Or middle. Yeah, middle Jersey. Have, old we got, have we got much old stuff over here? I mean, I know we have, but it's, we it's call just called things the name. Old, but there's anyway. no, there's no new. Uh, why has Kramer been such a name synonymous, like Eddie Kramer? It's Wayne because Kramer? in the eighties, Kramer was one of those souped-up, hot rod, crazy, kick your mum in the face, inject yourself with some marijuana, eat some fries, play a gig, you see all the boobs, that kind of marijuana. thing, and then more than. Re- <laughs> <laughs> and then more recently, um, Iron Thundercat or whatever they're called, Steel Panther, uh, bought them out a little bit more and people were like, who's this cool, yeah. sexy brand I've not seen before because I'm 15? And then they look back and they go, ah, oh, real yeah, I'm, I, You know what? I'm, I think that is an interesting... So look, Kramer, absolutely one of the original hot-rodded guitars that came out of America, you know, around about the same time that Charvel was doing their thing. Um, a little bit, to be honest with you, none of those companies, you know, Jackson, Charvel, Kramer, who else would have been around at the time? Charvel, Marshall, Charvel, Jackson. I don't know. ESP. Uh, yes. Well, ESP might but be. But they were a custom shop. Yeah, different ones. That was, but none of those American brands really uh, were commercially successful. You know, it, yeah. they all seem to have gone bust at some point in the 80s or early 90s. Uh, and then, obviously, Charvel and Jackson were, were fortunate in that Fender, quite early doors, sort of bought them out and revived them. Yeah. And have absolutely enjoyed a lot of success over the last five or six years about this kind of super strat revival. And Kramer were bought out by Gibson in the 90s. Um, but as with so many brands that, that Gibson seemed to acquire during that time, just sort of got shelved and never really did anything. Um, and I think it's only since the new owners of Gibson from last year have just gone, we've got this Kramer thing. It's like, why isn't this as big as Charvel and da 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 I had no idea they were owned by Gibson. Yeah. Right. So basically, this year, um, we've seen more, you know, big improvements to uh, the quality of the line and mm. more guitars coming through than ever before. And I believe next year as well, it's like, this, it's going to be like Kramer Fest in 2020. <laughs> but... Here are a mix of guitars, some of which are kind of real throwbacks to the 70s. This sort of single pickup hockey stick head shot, head stock. That's quite shape. hard to say to be fair. Yeah. Um, so I've got a Beretta, and what have you got? I think I've got a Beretta as well, is it mate. A Beretta we or both is went it a... for the Beretta. But yours is mine's got the angled pickup with the. Um... And you know what? Yours is yours is the the version of the Van Halen, I think. Right. Uh, the model that he played. So I've got the slanty pickup with the pickup ring. You've got the straight pickup with uh, straight into the body, I think. How many is your straight into the body? Uh, mine yeah, is yeah, the yeah. straight into the body. I've got to say, my eye was immediately drawn to the treble and then uh, and also this orange, beautiful thing. Yeah, so, so 
that's original. So that's kind of like um, a, a Richie Sambora signature model or, or based on the Richie Sambora signature model from 1980 or something like that. Then over here, the, again, we've got another Pacer. Uh, the SM1 was, a, you, you know, was after they, it was when they moved away from the, the hockey stick headstock that went more pointy. I don't think the SM1 is, is a, a, like an 80s model. I think that's but more recent. But have you ever seen headstocks as inlays? Headstocks as inlays. Yeah, it's such a clever it looks idea. Like a, it looks like a, a claw on a bird's foot, <laughs> doesn't it, or something. Or, but anyway, look, should we just go through this one guitar at a time? Let's do it! So you have got the 1984, so which I, I do believe it's is a, the kind of the Van Halen thing. Yeah. The Kramer 1984, uh, yours is in green soda, comes in other colors too. And the basic sort of super strat spec on this is pretty much everything you can see. Older bodied strat, relatively, I wouldn't have said super flat radius, 12 inch radius, uh, 25 and a half inch scale length as you would expect with basically Duncan the, the no, go on, what was the classic 80s shred? Uh, uh, it's probably either JB. a JB. Yeah, yeah JB. JB. So JB humbucker, but again, screwed straight into the body because I believe that was a Van Halen kind of, you know, yeah. makes it sound better. Screw into the body. Remember that, that immortal time when he went, screw it into the body, man. S screw it into the body. Screw it into the body. Take that pickup and screw it into my body. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you some clean tones. It taps out, so we'll start there. Ooh. It's very bright. <laughs> I've only got one pickup, so I'll tap it down again. <laughs> again, this oh. is a clean tone, and it's a very, very powerful pickup. So. For, for this. than having a tuner, I've got a very thin of course you have. So snake oil effects, <laughs> which does a bit more of... It's everything it's you like need uh, if you love green. <laughs> it's great. I mean, other colors are available. Um, I kind of, it's interesting really looking at these because there's, there's no sense really on these throwback guitars that anybody was going, oh yeah, we need like an ergonomic heel joint or compound radius fretboards or anything. It's really just, you can absolutely see someone's just gone, can we just do something to my Fender Strat to make it a bit more yeah, yeah. like rock? That is a million um, percent what's gone on there. And that's kind of what's happened. So it's cool. Over here, uh, oh, Rob's guitar, by the way, is about 650 pounds. All right! So my guitar is a bit different. So it's, it's, it's again, it's another Beretta. Uh, this now has a maple body uh, and a flatter radius fretboard. Um, do you uh, say maple body? Yeah, maple body, apparently. Um, it's got a 14 inch radius fretboard. So that's starting to get about as, you know, about as flat as you're likely to get on a guitar. Um, another JB pickup, but again, at the X uh, slanted here. The idea with slanting the bridge pickup was that by moving the, the base end of the pickup slightly more towards the middle, it should give a slightly bassier tone than one where the pickup is um, closer to the bridge. Uh, I've also got a, a JB Seymour Duncan pickup in here and it's also coil tappable. 
Now, in a total role reversal for videos, I don't have a clean sound at my feet, so... I will just try and pick lightly. Let's try it in the coil Just imagine mode. one. Yeah. I love, it's literally like having a dog on a lead, like a little staff terrier going, let me go, let me go. And I'm just like, because it's just like, okay, I'm letting you go. Um. Um, I don't have any pedals, I'm just using the distortion channel with not much gain actually. But We've you could a... use pedals if you wanted to. Yeah, I've got a Blackstar HD20 <coughs> on voice one of the overdrive channel with the gain at uh, nine o'clock. And then like Rob, I'm using a very thing. Great. And in fact, I think in that opening in jam, I was using the boost side of a Dane. Yeah, a little bit more bassy. Oh, thick. Yeah. So, again, really, it, it, it just feels like a neck off of a, a nice Fender Strat um, with no, you know, nothing to really go, oh, which setting shall I bend? It's just basic, that's it. Turn it, turn it up, rock, go. Uh, and this is about a hundred pounds cheaper than the green one. Is that because um, it's not green? I think gray is a much cheaper color. No, I don't, I, it's, I don't know actually why it The higher be... the number of the Pantone reference, the more it costs, is that what? Do you know what? I am, I think I prefer this Kramer logo to this Kramer logo. And I definitely prefer, I mean, this headstock is so, it's so utterly phallic and it's, simplistic. It's a little bit and Kongstock, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just sort of, it's that time, <clears> isn't it? I mean, it, was, it wasn't necessarily the most politically correct era in rock music, um, but it just, I don't know. Yeah, people were a little bit free, weren't they? They were a little bit kind of like, you know. I'd hands down buy that all day long. Yeah, I think it's I mean, amazing. The one thing that, that I wish they would change is that this one has the truss adjustment down here. Oh, yeah. And yours is at the top. Oh, that is a bummer, isn't it? If yeah. you've got to get to that, because you've even the string tree sort of slightly in the way. Well, slightly, 100% in the way. Utterly um, in the way. <laughs> But, I, I guarantee you couldn't even remove that. Uh, but it does feel thing. nice, and you know what? I really like. I like that. Too. I like the fact that the. Um, I like the fact that the serial number is actually etched in. Oh, I thought you were going to say that the, the tools. Tools, well, the tools trade. there. Yeah, and these are tone keys as well. So if I take these out, it totally changes the sound of these. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, what have you got now? Ah, oh, you've chosen my. Yeah, one. sorry, Lee. I, I oh. can't help myself. But basically, um, I wanted to show off the myriad tones. Um, and understand them as I go. So have there's you, a lot here. Have you noticed as well that yeah, it's like, really, really, it's, it's really like a little. Like, okay, so this is a Kramer feature. Okay, I'm sitting here going <laughs> like where it normally be, but it's like it's right round the side of it, isn't it? And it's really buried in. Yeah, so they like, got that barrel and they just. I'm trying to it decide that if body. that's actually a good thing because it's just like the cable does just go straight down. But I'll tell weird. you what, what you're not going to have now is what? a little washer come loose because it's. It's so oh, in yeah, the body. It's, it's the barrel <clears throat> jack socket, isn't it? Yeah, where it's, yeah you're right. It's, it's one of the, anyway. So let's work out what this does. <laughs> Obviously three humbuckers. It's got a one, two, three, four, five way. So kind of like a strat. But then these two switches, I'm guessing tap Probably out. Probably coil taps, But let's, let's find out, so. It does lots of things with those uh, with those switches, Lee. Does it come with a black cowboy hat and cape? 
It does. It does. <laughs> Full Richie Sambora. I, I, I wish. It, I wish. It's got one of those necks that's exactly the right dimension for shred. <laughs> Comes in two great colours, this one white? and a candy red one. Oh, is it white Look, or white? The, the JS <laughs> you'd think would be like some sort of the initials of the of the guitar player, wouldn't it? But it's the Jersey Star and so this is the dearest one. This one's a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds! <clears throat> I just want to try it with too much gain. <laughs> Now, there's no such thing as too gotta, much gang leave. I gotta tell you as well, so, so okay, this might be one of the dearer ones, but there's a lot of stuff on this guitar which I think would have been relatively radical for a super strat. So you've got the elliptical neck carve, which means it's fatter on the thumb side and thinner on the finger side. Uh, it's a super flat radius. I know I said this one was about as flat as it gets. This gets flatter. This is literally almost as flat as the earth. <laughs> Um, anyway, this is, you, I this, knew you were going <laughs> this is a 16 inch radius and <clears throat> in just the best pickup combination ever that I kind of recently changed. In fact, I don't know where it is. I recently changed the pickups on my Cap 10 for some Seymour Duncan pickups and I didn't go back to my old faithful jazz in the neck and, and uh, JB in the bridge. I just thought I'm going to try something different because, because, but I just, I, I'm semi regretting that now because what, uh, the Jersey We've Star all had has. semi regret Lee, yeah, don't worry about that. Regret. What the Jersey Star has is a jazz in the neck, and then not one JB, it's got two JBs. Double one in the J middle. Double JB. <clears throat> what happens if um, you put it in the. Okay, look, I'm just gonna. So that's two humbuckers. <laughs> I guess. That's then a JB and the neck pickup, which I've immediately forgotten. JB and a jazz together. To be fair, it's quite a dark sound. What's the fun? Oh, man. What's that? And I, I, the star inlay, which was absolutely a Richie Sambora thing. Do you know why they put one there? Why? <clears throat> to make it 12. Why did it not need? Because it was 11 stars otherwise. It has to be 12 stars. Why? Is that an American but, thing? I think then you're, you're a sheriff or 12. 12. Uh, it's probably an American thing. I made it up, but it's, <laughs> okay. probably, it's probably an American thing. I was thinking, how to be 12 stars? Going here? I'm thinking, how many stars are there on the Stars and Stripes flag? I don't Way know. More than 12. I, think, I don't know. Maybe. I don't you tell us. America, America. is now screaming um, at us. Oh, there's another one here. Does that mean it's 13 stars? Oh, wait, 13. Whoa, now oh. it's totally gone all like uh, devil worshipping and everything. Wait, what's the Lone Star State? That's Texas, isn't it? Lone Star State? Could be. I don't really know. You can only, um, if you've got 13 stars, that's when you can hit the really high. <laughs> hit those notes if you've got 13 stars I love otherwise it. you know otherwise I it won't do it. Love it but those stars also made it when when richie got his first fender endorsement if you remember rightly he, the stars were up and down the fender neck as yeah well. it's for if each woman richie, that he if you're uh, watching basically you're pretty much my guitar idol uh and if you've got nothing to do one day and you just fancy coming on anderton's tv and would like you know just to hang that would be amazing I'll buy you lunch and everything. He really will buy you lunch and it will be from the pub next door, yeah. which has seen a lot of people. So, uh, I now have this next Kramer, which again has a different headstock again from the Pacer series. Um, 
<coughs> two humbuckers now, which is kind of a bit more conventional, but a bit of a sort of like a, I, I don't, I don't sort of have a lot of faith that this little switch is going to stand the test of time. It's got a little sort of like... What Give it a hundred flicks, see what happens. Yeah. Go. Oh man, that took ages. It totally still yeah, works it took a long after a hundred. Anyway, um, still got American Seymour Duncan pickups on here. Still got a Floyd Rose tram. Still got a maple neck. You know. Still sounds fat as the proverbial. Uh, can I do anything here? I can. Oh! front yes it's so okay so we have back to frontiness here front volume is the back pickup and second volume is the neck pickup well, because in the 80s the pickup that you used the most was that one 100 so you want it nearest that's an esp thing nearest isn't it? Where, where it's sort of back to fronty isn't it sort of in here man because this is this sounds I got a great. fever I got a fever and the only prescription oh you're singing more cowbell your love is like bad medicine <laughs> terrible singing there but basically that's <clears> what <throat> the, you were saying wasn't it Kramer uh, pacemaker yeah not really a pacemaker. look it up while I shred <laughs> do it Duncan for putting another jazz and a JV in here and making me utterly regret the pickups I've just put in my cap tent. Totally going to change those back to a jazz and a JV again. So yes, what it is, it's just like, it's so weird, isn't it? I mean, I, I wonder how many people have looked through the Seymour Duncan catalogue and gone, don't play jazz, next page. And yet, all the, and the JB, which I think stood for jazzy blues as well. I don't think it's... I thought, enough, I thought it stood for Jeff no, Beck. As far as I'm aware, the Jeff Beck thing is a root is like something that Seymour Duncan have literally gone. Hey, we never started that rumor. It's great for us, and it's not. But it's nothing yeah. to do with it. And I don't believe the JB has anything to do with Jeff Beck at all. Jack but Bruce. Seymour Duncan have never really kind of gone out their way to go. No, 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 not that. I think it's jazz and jazzy blues, which is like you what? It's like, but it's it's eighties rock is what it really is, and great eighties rock. So look, this is a. By the way, this was the Pacer Vintage series. Uh, and it's, I don't know whether the cameras will pick this up, but this particular one's like a pearl white colour. It's this really is nice. Five or six hundred pounds. Yeah. Um, yeah, really cool, man. Again, it's got the essential tone tools on the back here. It's where all the uh, sustain is coming from. Um, <laughs> so, where are you at, Mr. Well, Rob? <clears throat> I'm in Orange Land. Or orange, sort of tawny, um, slightly flecked with beautiful little reflective pieces of particle detritus in the finish. This uh, is the one that really, really caught my eye, actually, after that grey uh, Beretta. And um, what it's got is three humbuckers again, but the top two are single coil sized, and um, this is an absolute ridiculous shred machine. So what's the, the bridge? The pickups on that, so again, this is the SM1, mahogany body with an arch top three, jb three different colors 14 inch radius uh neck through body Ooh. um and he says 
couple of cool rails cool. and a JB. Yeah, JB. But not just a regular JB. It's a double black JB. What does that mean? I'm guessing not not zebra like you've got in that one. All right. Double well, black. So, so it's got a it's got a switch to. In tap fact, our web listing bucket. has says that this has got uh, this has actually put the bridge pickup in the spec twice. It's so good. They thought they'd tell you the bridge pickup was a Seymour Duncan JB, and then immediately underneath, they thought they'd tell you again that the bridge pickup was a Seymour Duncan JB. Lee, people need this information. They do. Okay, so that's, do. that's the whole point. Did Let's... I mention the bridge pickup on this is a Seymour Duncan you, JB? You may have done. Okay. Tap it out. Middle position. brought the bass, didn't it? was about to go and we'd have had the best moment ever on Anderson's TV as Rob and I disappear into the floor below. It wouldn't be the first time I've fallen through, through a stage. Yeah, that would have been amazing. <laughs> oh man, that sounds fat. It's, uh, it's really easy to play. Uh, I'm made in Indonesia and it's orange and I really like it. And I, I guess I would like it because this pickup configuration what? is one that I have on a lot of my guitars. What? Was there a monster in Never Ending Story that had a bit of a face, like a neck with a beak on the end of it that was... Sometimes... <laughs> never Ending Story... Uh, do you remember Lamar singing that song? I do. <laughs> never but Ending what was Story... The... Uh, maybe yeah, there, Rory there was. can put on on screen now. I'm pretty sure there was a baddie, or maybe it was a goodie. I don't know, like a sort of a like a spooky looking ostrich or something in Never Ending Story. And and this inlay reminds you know me of his face. <clears throat> You're thinking of the Skeksis from the Dark Crystal. Yes, I'm totally <laughs> thinking of the Dark Crystal, the not one. Never yes. Ending Story. Skeksis is good. That's what it was. I uh, I'm a fan. Wow. And the new series looks incredible, by the way. It does. Yeah. Anyway, look, everything that we've tried here so far has been kind of a throwback to something Kramer did in yesteryear and he's reasonably sort of professionally spec'd and he's going to cost you somewhere between sort of, you know, five, six hundred pounds and up to about a thousand pounds. Except this one. Do you know what that reminds me of? Um, a Fender Strat. It reminds me of when uh, Gibson made the Jimi Hendrix uh, I Strat. I was literally just about to say, I'm, I'm going to just put this one out there. I think this is a bit of a... Not a sellout guitar, but it, this is just like, hey, everybody makes one of these, so we'll just make one too. Oh, yeah. Um, these are, unbelievably though, only £109, which is pretty crazy. And I've got to be honest with you, I've not seen anything else in this colour. This colour is wicked. And there are other guitars in this colour. In terms of as a guitar, it plays, you know... Like it's costing like it's, £109. I think it's... I would say the only thing about it that... I'm really not a fan of is these are about the cheapest, crappiest kind of tuners that you can put on a guitar. Well, Lee, um, you've just found the biggest problem. What? It doesn't have the tone tools. 
That's the problem. It's How is no it going to have the tone it's without the tone? It's still got the engraved um, serial number, though, which gives it a sort of a pro. Anyway, look, it it's kind of, you know, it's going to feel and sound much the same as I suspect any sort of 100 pound strap copy. <laughs> this is where Kramer benefits now from being owned by Gibson because of course they'll use their massive massive um, you know buying power with brands like Epiphone and um, what's the other one that they own uh, Steinberger and all that kind of stuff so they'll have access to factories that can make good guitars for kind of you know low pricing but it doesn't really it doesn't really speak of Kramer to me you know it's like neck both that sounds middle. good it doesn't sound bad, does it? Pick up the humbucker at the back. They're not branded or anything like that. It's got one of those trem systems on it that you suspect the best thing to do with that is just screw it right to the body and never use it. <laughs> I'm probably being unduly unfair on this, just but it's just this. It is what it is. It's a cool looking, pretty much same quality as anything else you can buy at this price point guitar. Um, but it sounds decent. Oh, terrible. Anyway, uh, not terrible to play, just terrible lick. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to end on this one, Rob. I'm going to end, but although that is the end, uh, on the Jersey star, Richie Sambora. Ah. You are my hero. You couldn't hurt yourself. Oh my goodness, you didn't even mention that the blade is back to front on this. Yeah, I know. Look! It's like, <laughs> it totally... So what is that? Is that bridge or is that bridge? Uh, bridge is down. Bridge is down? Yeah, man. Bridge is down. Black Hawk down. Bridge is down. Send him reinforcements. <laughs> Thank you.